Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little zebra? If so, you are going to need something to draw on, something to draw with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done drawing. And don't forget the crayons, the markers, the color pencils, and the paint. And when you have all of those supplies, let's get started! started on our adorable little zebra. So the first thing we're going to do is make our paper vertical, which means it is tall this way, but skinny this way. And we are going to start the face the same way we do many of our little animals, which is kind of a big boxy kind of U shape. And by boxy, instead of making it a nice rounded U, I kind of come out here for the snout of our animal which in this case is a zebra. So we're gonna go ahead and do a curved line right across the top for the tip of his nose. And inside that shape, you can go ahead and do a small six and a small backward six for his nostrils. And then at the tips up here where I ended the U shape, the, my boxy U, that is where I'm gonna go ahead and make my ears. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make some rounded designs here so kind of like a squished letter C and then inside I'm gonna go ahead and make his ear lines here that way I can add a little pink to his ears and give him a little bit of color on top of all of the black and white now I'm gonna go ahead and make his mane here in the middle so I'm gonna go from this ear and I'm gonna curve up with a kind of a pokey zigzag and I'm gonna curve out and I'm gonna kind of go down and around. That way I'm creating this shape of hair up here. We can actually add one more spike right there. This is all gonna be colored in black. So let me go ahead and quickly color that in. Okay. All right, so we will color all of this in black for his little mane up here. And I recommend if you have Sharpie marker that you are drawing in, like I am, that you use a Crayola marker to do this part because this is really just me wasting my marker when I can use a marker that's kind of intended for coloring in big areas like a Crayola is. Okay, now I can go down below and give him his eyes. So his eyes are going to fall right above the curved line by his nose. And I'm just going to do the oval with a smaller oval in the middle. And then I'm going to actually add in his stripes. So I'm going to go ahead and do two stripes on each side of his face. Top one being a little bit smaller and skinnier than my bottom one. And this way we already know we are working on the world's cutest zebra. Now I'm going to go down from each side of his face here. And I'm going to curve out with kind of parentheses shapes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that again on the inside. And that way I've created his two front legs. So now I'm going to go ahead and round these bottoms here. Round these bottoms. And these are going to be his hooves. So I can go ahead and draw in some lines and color that in black as well. That way I've got his little hooves. And then we're gonna do just a curved line right across the middle here. And that's just the part where his body is touching the ground. And I'm gonna actually create another curve kind of right here in the middle, maybe a little zigzaggy hair. That way I can give his belly kind of like a peachy look to it where the rest of him is black and white. I'm gonna go down his arms with some stripes before I add in his legs. So I'm gonna give him maybe four, let's do four stripes. And you want them to all kind of be a little bit different but you want them to be in the same spot since he is a cartoon. All right, so there's his four. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give him a nice 
big rounded hoof shape here because he's sitting. Nice big rounded hoof shape. And these are just going to be colored blacks. So I'm actually going to use my Crayola for that. And then I'm going to do a curved line down for kind of his legs being bent. And on those, maybe we'll add one zigzag, one little stripe there. Just enough to give it the look that he still has stripes on his body. Then he needs his tail. So I'm going to go ahead and do a curved line there. I'm actually going to turn it upside down and make a heart for the tip of his tail. Also gonna be black, so I could quickly color that in with my Sharpie. And then the last thing my little zebra needs is a horizon line. He needs to be outside somewhere. He needs to be sitting so he's not floating in the air. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black Crayola and color in his hooves here. That way they are all black. They would be all black at the bottom, I feel. So we're gonna make those all black. Cute he is. I love him. And since he is really just white and black, I mean, he's pretty much done. You can add a little bit of like cheek color if you like, and a little pink for his cheeks. You can color in the inside of his ears a little bit of pink, which is why I put that curved line there. Just so we can give him something outside of just the black and white, give him a little bit of color. And I also did it so you can add like a little bit of a peach to his belly area because we definitely don't want him to be just solid black and white. You can leave it the way it was. There's nothing wrong with that. But this way he kind of has just a little bit more color to him. This part would be black, the tip of his nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my black, but I'm gonna color light. So I'm not gonna use my marker to color this section in because I definitely don't want my picture to be just tons of solid black and black or black and white. I want it to have a little bit of this gray tone to it. Helps kind of make my picture complete, I feel. So there's this nose. And after that, if you wanted to add grass or some desert look to it, you can go ahead and do that. I actually think I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow, little value here where parts of his body are overlapping. And then I think I'm done. I love him, he is so cute. Do you wish sometimes that your little doodles could just come to life? Because I feel like they would just be so much fun. He is so cute. He just seemed like he would be the sweetest little, like, pet of some sort. <laughs> I'm going to add just a little bit of green grass in here. Just a slight little green color in the background and fade it forward. And there's my little zebra. Look at how cute he is. I hope that you had fun drawing with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.